minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without and objection. Add and add extraneous material to my re remarks. Without objection. So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> last evening I was patiently waiting here on the House floor to offer an amendment to the Commerce State Justice Spending Bill when the Democrat leadership suddenly moved to shut down debate and cut off our ability to represent our constituents with, offer, with ideas to improve this legislation. At 8 p.m. last night, the rules of the House allowed me to offer my amendment. But this morning, under the rewriting of the rules, I am blocked from doing so. I deeply regret this unfairness and this hostility to letting representatives, members of Congress, come to the House floor for just five minutes and offer an amendment that spends, uh, to a bill that spends $64 million. The amendment that I am blocked from offering, frankly, is very simple. It would restore the Pacific Coastal Salmon Recovery Fund that has received strong bipartisan support for years, and it's an existing program, but which this bill explicitly eliminated. The Pacific Coastal Salmon Recovery Fund is a successful grant-to-states program to help recover and conserve endangered, threatened, at-risk, and important tribal runs on the Pacific coast. In April, President Obama proposed in his budget to eliminate this fund and transfer the funds to another fund. From the Northwest, the reaction was bipartisan and very swift. The success of this long-standing program was com so compelling that the Obama administration reversed its course to their credit and sent a letter to Congress seeking to restore the funds to this uh, recovery plan. My amendment, which I am now blocked from, from offering on this floor, would simply adopt the Obama administration's position. So, Mr. Speaker, I regret this unprecedented rules restricting House debate and this successful endangered salmon recovery program will suffer for it. And the House action to eliminate this plan, frankly, will make it much, much more difficult for our senators to do so and the other bodies. It's expired. With that, I yield back my time. Gentlewoman from New York. Mr. Speaker, uh, I don't have.